Hello viewers. Uh, today we're going to create a search form in Oracle Apex 5. To do that, we will have to create a DML form and then we'll create a process to search the data from the database to the page. So, to begin with the tutorial, let's begin with the, uh, creating a page. Uh, it is a blank page, no problem. Next, a big search form. Search form. Next. Okay, next. Finish. So now we will create a first, we will create a parameter form and then we will create a DML form and then we will perform the searching. Okay, let's create the parameter form. Create a region. It will be static content. Next. Search. Search parameters. Region is template form template next nothing to do here HTML next next great now region has been created now we'll create an item. It will be a number field. It should be number field. Next. Employee. Next. Now we'll create a button in the search form, in the search parameter form. Next. Next. Let's do it to search. Name is search. Next. We create template. Next. Position. It will be submit, okay. Unconditional quit button. Now let's see how it looks like. So this is the employee and starts. Now uh, the idea is we will apply the employee ID here and then click on the search button and the uh, ID and the uh, region here will be populated with the employee information. So, we will create a DML form region in the page. Okay, let's create a region. It will be form region. Form on a table or view. This one form on a table or view. This is the owner, this is the table, which is employee. Next. Form on employee, it is form region. Primary key, this is the primary key, and this is the employee ID, is the primary key. 
okay now next just go on with it these are the field that will be displayed next okay no problem next branch here on submit branch on here uh, sorry in this page and cancel also in this page now create okay now um, let's see how it looks like this is how it looks like these are the inform uh, these are the uh, fields of the form now what we will have to do is we have to apply a id here and then uh, click on the search button then the value of the uh, employee information will be displayed in the form okay now let's do it we have to create a process to do that to so click on the plus sign it's a pl skill code okay next name of the set pk employee okay set pk employee this is our name of the our process next here we have to do nothing but begin end and then p capital p 8 p 8 ploy id will be what p 8 employee okay this is the only thing we have to do in e l o y w okay next nothing here now when button pressed it will be only search button when the search button is play, pressed the, this process will execute okay now let's start now we will make this process conditional so we are going to make it conditional like this mm. the request is contained within expression 1 okay here will be capital create save delete last name required yes make it required no email make it you required no hire date make it required no and then job id required not now let's run it 
just see how we behave. Okay, value is here. Okay. Now one zero one. If I search one zero one, then what happens? Okay, now we'll have to change a little bit here. It has to be the processing point has to be changed. It has to be on submit after completion and validation. Apply changes. Okay, it is here. Now we can move it suffer. Okay, let's see what happens now. One zero one search. Okay. Nina Kocher is here. Now if I one zero three if I search one zero three, what happens? Let's see. One zero three search. Okay. So this is a simple search form. You can do it very easily. We didn't do anything. We just set the value of employee ID with this value and then we click on search button and the result is here. Now if I do it for therefore let's see what is the difference here. Value of well, it has changed. This is the uh, end of the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody.